Black, we begin tonight with continuing coverage of the Benjamin Kaya murder trial. As we told you tonight on WENY News at Noon, Kaya took the stand today. WENY's Asia McKenzie was in the courthouse and has more on his testimony and the contradictions the prosecution pointed out. Now we do warn you, some of this information you're about to hear is Tears graphic could be and seen be coming disturbing. down Benjamin Kaya's face as his defense attorney asked him to recall his relationship with 23 year old Shannon Jones, what kind of person she was, what kind of relationship they had. But let's backtrack to Thanksgiving Day, the day that Shannon was strangled to death in their apartment in Cayuga Heights. Now, Kaya has a different account of what he told investigators back in 2014 to what he told the jury today on the stand. I'll tell you what he told investigators back in 2014. He says that he lost it, according to the transcripts, and he choked her. He said he lost it and he choked her. But today on the stand, he says it was a totally different story. He says they were having an argument and then they entered the bathroom where things turned sexual and Shannon asked him to choke her and choke her harder. And if he didn't, she started calling him names. So finally he did choke her harder and that's when he said she went unconscious and she fell. He said he didn't administer CPR or call 911 because quote, he thought she was gone and he couldn't save her. Now, the prosecution did point out contradictions in his statement from 2014 to his statement today. They said, why did you lie? What was the issue? He says he wanted to protect Shannon's memory and didn't want to expose what kind of relationship and sexual activities they had. Now, Kaya says this isn't the first time Shannon asked him to choke her. He says multiple times during sex, she was into the BDSM. She wanted to be choked and choked harder, and if he didn't do it, she would call him names. And he says he was reluctant but wanted to please her. Now, tomorrow we will hear closing statements from the defense and the prosecution, and that should be the last day as jury deliberates on the case. For now, reporting at the Tompkins County Courthouse, Asia McKenzie, WNY News.